This is EPSEC's online support program for grade 11 and 12. This lesson is for class 11. Let's move towards our slides. The topic of discussion today is It's Country for Me, Unit number 5. It focuses on a 13 year old boy who works on his family farm, caring for livestock, harvesting hay, and preparing to manage the farm himself one day. It's all about the passion and enthusiasm of the farm boy toward its land. So by the end of the unit, we expect that students will be able to have general idea of the text. They would infer theme or main idea on their own. Also, they would be able to apply critical, critical thinking to interact with the text, use intensive reading strategies. Also, obviously, at the end of the lesson, they would be able to answer the questions related to the text. Who is the author of the story? The author of the story is Patricia Brandon Dimon. Let's have a little introduction of her. Patricia Dimon and her husband grew up in small towns in Iowa, where they had friends who were part of the family farm team. When she decided to write a book about rural America, they found a farm in Wisconsin to serve as a setting for her story. They took their young sons with them and lived in Wisconsin where she wrote the book Joel, Growing Up a Farmman. It was awarded Best Children's Book of 1982 by the Society of Midland Authors. So what this story is about? This story is about Joel, a 13-year-old boy who lives on a farm with his parents and siblings. After school and on weekends, he helps his father and elder brother to do farm work. Also, in this story, the writer has described the life, feelings, and the love of the boy for his work, his farms, and the country. So, Joel. Joel has been living on a 245-acre land which great-great-grandfather bought in 1860, 16 years ago, which is called as Holland Farm. Joel was born in this land and has a special attachment to it for the attribution to his great-great-grandfather's name. Joel's family was called Holland's family. So, besides studying in a private school, Joel helps his father and brother at the farm. What does he do? After coming back from school, Joel does many small chores and helps his family in farm work. He works for hours a day during weekends and on holidays. He works 8 to 15 hours a day. He is an energetic, active and hard worker. He visits the animal barn many times a day to feed the animals. He knows how to care for the animals. He has been watching and doing all this since his early childhood. So, Joel is a teenager but he does these all these work which adults do. In daily chores, Joel helps his family to run the farm and to support the family. He does the work of adult in spite of his teenage. The Hollands operate as a self-sufficient farm. They raise cattle, animals, mostly cows and sheep. They keep some females to replenish the stock and the rest are sold out to meet companies every year. Holland raise all types of crops. Their animals need corn, oats and hay. They sell the extra crops and earn some money from it. The main source of, source of their income is selling animals. And besides this, Joel helps in every way. He knows how to repair the machines as well and vehicles which are used in the Holland form. So in short, he knows all those skills which are necessary for running a farm like Holland. Why? If all the chores and activities of the farm are to be done by professionals, experts, technicians and the, and the mechanists, it would cost $1 million to operate this farm. Joel's family do all this work themselves with hard work and the experience they got. Joel is an active, alert and watchful learner. He has learned all those farming skills by observing, watching and listening to his father and brothers. He can do many things like he works like a mechanic, a stock raiser, a veterinarian, an agriculture, a farm manager, etc. He wants to learn more and more about farming and he continues to learn more skill as well. Why? Because his main aim is to become a farmer. So Joel is the youngest of Holland's six children. He is the youngest of all the six children of Aunt Ed and Betty, his parents. 
He has four brothers and one sister. The sister is the youngest of all and is a Roman Catholic, none doing graduation from a university. His other two brothers are also getting education away from the home and his two brothers work on farm with his father. He gives preference to country's life or city's life and it is the only place where Joel wants to live in the whole world which is the Holland farm. Joel is a good student as well. He attends a public school at Scales Mount and almost half of its students are farmers. He is very sociable and friendly. He cares for relations and knows its importance. That's why he knows the names of all his schoolmates. He is a good student too. Obviously, he usually gets an A grade or B grade exams, but in national testing, he scored 99%. He is aware of the day-to-day -day lessons of, of the school and he shows all his interest towards the school activities. But Joel is not only will spend his work on, on farming or in school. But besides these, Joel spares time for recreation. He is a very good sportsman. He takes part in different sports. His favorite sports are those which are played outdoors. He hunts deer and traps wildlife in autumn. He plays softball and basketball in spring while water skiing and fishing in summer. Joel does not want to leave the country at any cost. He has a pride in one's skill and a sense of fulfillment in dealing with living, growing things. There is even time for fun, hunting in the fall, snowballing in winter, fishing and water skiing in the summer. Above all, on this farm, there is a sense of family unity and continuity. Farming is his Joel's heritage and passion. And if he would have to live in a city for one year, he will badly miss the country's life. And that's why he says, if I have a favorite place to live on, it must be a Holland farm. And it's a country for me. Let's start summing up this lesson. This lesson highlights many important, important points. What are these? Let's have a look at them. The lesson talks about satisfaction, hard work and passion of country people for their work and their land. The author has described the fact that hard work is a key to success. She also talks about that every profession has prestige and honor. We must not consider farming a minor profession. We must not think to live in the countryside a bad thing. All the supply of food we eat in hotels come from the fields and farm. Everyone should stick to their traditions and culture. The children will follow the trade of their father. The children should have their parents and elders in their work. It brings prosperity and progress. And above all, the main aim of education should not be getting a good job. It must polish your personality and yet you can do any job, choose any profession. Students, if you have any query, you may ask me. But I advise you to read the chapter first prior to going prior to having this lesson. If you have not read the lesson yet, take your book, turn to this chapter and start reading this chapter. I must say that you would enjoy reading it. It is very emotional and motivated story and uh, if you read this chapter you will get better understanding of this lesson once you finish reading then come to the slides again and start watching this presentation thank you so much